forward. Off. And that's reverse. So that's what it's supposed to do. That's in back here. Yeah, there we'll try it in high speed. A little bit of noise from the pulley, but the, the belt's quite badly damaged, it's on there. I've been reading on one of the forums I go to, there's a lot of backlash. That's quite normal, that's, that's the, way the, the way they were designed. It's been like that for the last 40 years, so it's not going to give any problems with me. So the last you won't on the belt there. I think I'm quite pleased with that. I need to say it from the mains now. So now it's a case of a, a total rewire using modern wire, new wire, and find somewhere for it to live. I'm getting a bit short of space really in here. But for what I paid for it, it's an excellent little drill it'll do. Even an hour it'll do. And more probably. I've got some bits of inch and a half box section here, and I'm going to use these to make a drill. A drill stand for the big tipper sham drills I got last week. I just bits and pieces of the box I've got. I'm going to join the ground just use what I've got. You can see that that bit's been welded on. Some nice ones of stainless on it there. And then I'm just going to use the pieces of material I've got at hand and make a rack, whatever size it turns out to be, using what I've got at hand. Very handy tool or wire wheel. You must make sure you wear eye protection with these. You don't wear gloves either, you don't want to get your hands stuck in there. Just want the paint off so you weld it, that's all. Luckily this bit here has got two faces that haven't been haven't been welded on. So we'll just use that to line them up, tack that and weld it together and we'll have two pieces the same size, which will give a, a good start for our stand. I would normally just tie this together with a make, but the make's in the other shop so I'll TIG weld it. TIG weld a lot cleaner. For in, in here anyway. Just using that one as a like the back and piece like a straight edge to get some tacks on it.
can see the TIG does make quite a nice tidy weld. Got some MIG welding on there. You can play with the MIG welding in that stick welding on there. There's a scrap material, I might as well use it up. Need to mark it up for the, the hole spacings. We'll mark the centre first. straight down the centre a hole every two inches not super accurate just as long as it looks symmetrical So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 drills in there, and 11 in that one, 11, 11 is 22. I'm just going to drill the holes in here with this little drill press. I'm not going to clamp the workpiece, I'm just going to hold it by hand. I've got a couple of pins in there which will actually stop it, stop the job twisting. If that's long enough for me to hold and the belt would slip on the drill and the drill would snap. You don't go holding it there like that, you're going to hurt yourself. Keep your hands well away from it and you'll, you'll have no problems. If you want to clamp it, clamp it. I drill straight in. We use a nineteen mil drill, that should give work a hole. It's going to be a good fit on the tang of the drills. This is where you will clamp it up, make sure we've got a good hold of it. It's quite a big drill we're using here. Should be okay for the bottom. No need to find the ones to fill up the taper. Bad. 
we settle for that, we'll drill one side that. You better the bottom was slightly bigger and it will drop drop further in. But see that I'm not gonna go anywhere else. So now we should be able to I think I'll drill that bottom hole bigger so they go through a little bit further. So I'm gonna I can't go anywhere. Open the bottom clothes off a little bit with a counter sink and they fit in just nice now. I've got quite a little shot to do when I get a look at, a look at some of these. I was going to make one for four and one for three more tape and I'm going to make them both four because I have got quite a lot of Four more tape I drills, I've got more than I thought actually. A lot of these have come from car boot sales, been given. Let's see we did buy a, a big box for you that week. Anyway, that's a good start. One of my viewers had asked us how I'd fastened the, the Z scale onto this mill. I put this on temporarily about six years ago and I've never changed it actually. Since I did it, it was the problem you've got is this face here runs that way, tape add, and it runs tape add backwards, so there's nothing square to bolt this onto. What I did, I drilled and tap holes in there, and I put some 6 mil stainless studding in, and I bent them until they were at the right angle, and simply bolted this scale on with three in three places, with nuts either side of it, so I could get it square that way. I bring the camera in closer. And show you how I've got the pickup head mounted. Right, that's the scale there, and that's the studden going through with a check on either side. There's three pieces of that. If you look through that down, that's the reed head. What I'll do, I'll bring it up so it can see a little bit clearer. Right, that's the reed head mounted there onto a nice solid steel plate, and that's also on two pieces of studden just to get the distance right. I was going to make machine pieces lengthwise to go in there with proper cap head bolts in but I just haven't gotten around to it, it's, it's, it's worked so well I've just left it alone and that's the, that's the lock for the knee I'll wind it up a little bit so you can see how it, how it works you have got a little bit of tolerance on here but not a great lot that's the wire from the reed head hanging in a nice loop so it can't, can't jam anywhere I see I was going to change it but it's it's rigid enough it just it gives no problems it just it doesn't look it doesn't look very well it doesn't look very professional but it like I say it does the job this is the setup I've got for the Y axis this is a lot more substantial this is finished I've got the scale bolted on, Allen bolts, 
bit of spaces in between, so that's absolutely solid. Up here, that's the, those are stops, y-axis stops, so you can preset where your y-axis stops at. So I've used that, and that big heavy steel bracket down there to hold the reed head on. The reed head's actually underneath, so it means any coolant lands on the top and runs over. These stand a lot of water, but you don't want any water running in onto that seal there, try and keep that part dry. This works really well. There's no flex, no movement at all in it. See the cables are all looped, plenty of slack in the cables so they don't get jammed up anywhere. X-axis is also finished. The scale's bolted on, bolted straight through. The space is in so that, that can't move. That's the reed head there, which is mounted once again with spacers in behind. That works very well. This readout actually came off a, a massive milling machine that was being scrapped. That's actually the scale off the z-axis, that's how big it was. And I cut the rest of them down to suit the on to be able to cut these, but you can't cut them. Well, I cut them anyway. The only problem is, or the only thing when you cut them, before you cut them in the centre, there's a marker on the tape so you can pick up a centre point on your on your display. Obviously, when you when you cut two foot off the end of it, you lost that. But for what I'm doing with this, it works perfect. Once again, cable all nice and loose. I've seen quite a few people install the, the scale on the back of the table. I think they come from the factory installed on the back. Uh, it's easier to put on the back obviously, but the problem you've got is you're going to lose that much travel. That's an inch and a half of travel which you can't afford to lose on a small machine like this. I hope that shows you a little bit of what you wanted to see, how I mounted the, the DRO onto here. Give you some starting points anyway. Once again it's time to say thanks very much for watching, for clicking the like button, for subscribing, but most of all for supporting Dead My Wife all last year really. Um, the, the message support is still coming in, it's absolutely fantastic, it really is. It really is nice to know that there's people out there that don't care about more than themselves. Anyway, thanks once again and all the best for the new year.